so when we discuss about the general characteristics of animal kingdom one of the major aspects is the body plan so what is the body of organisms composed of and what are the functional units in the body the first type of body plan is the cell aggregate plan now in cell aggregate plan what happens is the body is made up of many many cells but the cells do not form tissues the body is a loose aggregation or a mass of loosely arranged cells with little differentiation as in the cells do not form tissues so when the body does not have distinct tissues but when it has many many cells we call this kind of a body plan as cell aggregate plan this is seen in parazoa that is phylum porifera which is commonly called sponges then we have a blind sac plan in blind sac plan the body encloses a sac like structure which opens out through a single opening this single opening performs the function of both mouth as well as the anus that is food is ingested through this opening as well as the undigested matter is eliminated through the same opening so we say that there is an organ system which is incomplete it's as good as a digestive system being incomplete because there is a single opening which functions as both the mouth and the anus this kind of a blind sac plan can be seen in members of phylum coelenterata the best example being hydra okay then the most advanced type of body plan is called the tube within tube type of a body plan where there is a central cylindrical or a tube like structure which is the gut and the gut in this case starts with the mouth and ends with the anus or cloacal aperture that means we could call this type of a digestive system that starts with the mouth and ends with the anus as what is referred to as a complete digestive system then the outer cylinder or the outer tube represents the body wall of the organism so the gut is like a tube sitting inside a broader tube which is the body wall and therefore it is considered to be a tube within tube type of body plan so here you get a better idea now in case of a blind sac plan you can see how there is a single opening into this sac like structure sitting inside the body this is the body wall okay so there is a sac like structure blind ending means it has only one opening this opening functions as both mouth and the anus and therefore we call this type of a body plan as blind sac type of body plan now i was telling you it is a tube within tube in higher organism see this is the outer tube it is spherical here but you can imagine this to be a tube like structure which is the outer body wall and then there is an inner tube which i'm highlighting right now and this inner tube is nothing but the gut it opens through the mouth over here and it ends with the anus so it has a complete digestive system so it's like there is a bigger tube sitting inside that there is a smaller tube that's why it is called a tube within a tube type of body plan in tube within tube type of body plan we have two types of organisms protostomous and deuterostomous organisms now in protostomous organisms during their embryonic development mouth is formed first and anus is formed later and what forms the mouth during the embryonic development all of you remember there is a structure there is an aperture in the embryo that develops which is referred to as the blastopore in protostomes the blastopore itself develops into the mouth and the mouth formed mouth is formed first and anus is formed later protostomes include flatworms roundworms or ascelmenthes annelida arthropoda and mollusca in deuterostomata that is the advanced organisms or advanced animals or evolved animals what happens here is anus is formed first during the embryonic development so remember anus is formed first and mouth is formed later again what forms the anus the same structure which is an aperture that is formed during embryonic development called the blastopore so in these organisms blastopore becomes the anus so anus is formed first and much later the mouth becomes established this is seen in case of higher phyla such as echinodermata hemichordata and the phylum to which we humans belong that is phylum chordata